Hey guys, it's Joshy here and welcome back to another Sun and Moon dice battle. Now this one was a, there was actually two battles in this, there are two dice multis, they were really fun. Uh, there was Lucy and I and we actually ended up on the same team both times even though I did randomise it. And Eckhart and Gods on the other team, so it was really good. Uh, I put this one in because I thought this one was a little bit of a better one to show off and talk through. But the other one is afterwards and it just goes through. Now this is the second battle I have uploaded with the opening and closing so if you guys have any feedback on anything please do let it go and they are shout out again to Sea Weaves who did do a lot of the effort in there. Okay so anyway this is actually the best rolled turn ever I've seen for an opening. So I rolled and I got Thunderbolt aimed at the Slow King and then got the Paralysis and I'm like okay that's awesome. So then Oranguru gets Thunder and rolls and gets Drifling because you do roll twice in a dice battle first is your move second one is your opponent. Okay, then we get Payback, which is, it hits on the young Oranguru, which is super effective, and then the Slow King gets Psychic and hits. Now, all this, none of them I don't think were a six. They were all rolled, both move and opponent. And I thought, what an opening turn. No one died, but we all had super effective moves hitting the correct opponent. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, so I rolled and I got Thunderbolt again, and unfortunately this time it was the young on Oranguru, blah, blah, blah. It would have been cool. So anyway... Uh, um, we get the rock slide off, so that's just enough almost to take Oranguru out. He just lives. Uh, he does get the psychic again. I believe this time it was a six, so he got to pick who to attack with what move. And he takes out the girder there with the psychic. So that was a bit of a shame, but it was lucky. So, you know, at least the Slow King's paralyzed and we can see what happens there. I am burnt, but I do have flare boosters, my hidden ability. Even though this is SOS chained, I, decent I, EV, some decent ability, so I thought I'd use so anyway, Lopunny gets rolled and comes in here from Lucy and actually rolls the Ice Punch, but it didn't matter what we really rolled. Oranguru was going down there. So it's a pretty good start, you know, one down on each team. I get Thunderbolt again and luckily, or well, it didn't matter because Oranguru is down and hit Slow King. Does more damage and then Slow King's paralyzed. I'm like, awesome, okay, because I was most probably going down there because you want to get rid of Drifloom with the Flare Boost because you might as well. So, and I'm on no health, so whatever he hit me with, I was done. So... Okay, so Eckhard rolls and Simi uh, sorry, Simi Sage comes in here. And actually looking up early, Simi Sage is both the tallest and heaviest of the Simis, just by a bit. Then he rolls a five and has to swap out. And I was like, you know, that's just what happens. It's luck of the draw, but it, you know. And unfortunately that swap did really save him there because that ice punch could have caused a lot of damage. I did roll, I got Shadow Ball. It does hit the Simi Paw really decently well, but he is actually a special defensive Simi Paw, I believe and also carries the lychee berry so he gets an attack boost but slow king is paralyzed for the second turn in a row so gods was like getting pretty pissed off over there at that which i mean i would be too what's the chances of that like i mean obviously we know the chances but it's still quite small unfortunately there, lucy rolls and has to swap out she does swap into a caracosta here and i really like caracosta and but unfortunately swaps into a low sweep from Simi's, uh, Simi Paw. Now, I guess it doesn't really matter considering the fact that both her Pokemon are weak. Now, I rolled and I believe I got a 6 and I thought I'm just hyper beaming that spot. Or I might have actually rolled and got the hyper beam, I can't remember. But I knew I was going down at this stage so it didn't really matter because Slow Kings hit me with a Scold and that's Drifling down. But I was really happy with the start with Drifling, we caused a lot of damage. And Slow King, even though he's slowly recovering, he is wounded and paralyzed, so we can do something with that. Anyway, so Eckhart is now under his last Pokemon, which is this Simi Sage. So he has the last Pokemon uh, clause, which means if he rolls a 5 or a 6, they both become a 6. Anyway, so I unfortunately roll a 5 and have to swap out to my Krikatune, which was really unfortunate for me because I could have caused damage to either of these guys. And Gods actually does roll a 5 as well, so he swaps into his Perugly, and I'm like, okay, well this probably carries Fake out, so I hope he doesn't roll it first turn. But, I believe he got, I don't remember, but it's 50% it's chance that he gets that move, and Karakosta's down there. So now, Lucy is also onto a last Pokemon, which is a Lopunny, so... Hopefully we can cause some problems on the opposite side of the field because we really need to take one of theirs out. So Perugly actually gets a fake out this turn, which really sucked for me. And our high jump kick misses, which really sunk for Lucy. So it was such an unlucky bad turn for us because Lopunny's going to go down there to the energy ball. 
and it leaves me with two Pokemon against two people. And that flinch did not help because I believe I had a six, so I was going for a Z move there, which is Z Sing to boost my speed so I can outspeed these guys. So it was really cool. He gets the um, nature power off. I don't get the hacks and I do get the air slash off. But again, there are a bit more of a defensive simmies, I believe. And so he actually does pop the, uh, what berries did he have there? Potato berry to raise his special attack. So I'm like, ah. Uh, and then I roll a five. I'm like, oh, I was down anyway, but still, I, I wish I got that Z move off because I would have really boost. So Baham luckily avoids the Z, uh, not the Z, the Hypnosis, so I'm not going to sleep. And then I get the Tri-Attack, I'm like, oh, let's avoid it, and I don't get one again. And I am able to pop my um, Moringa Berry there to boost my special defense, but I'm still, you know, anyway, so... He gets the slash off there, then Simi, uh, Simi Sage gets the taunt off, I'm like, well I'm lucky I didn't go for anything recover or barrier there, but it would have been good being, you know, down this low on health if I could have used recover if it came to it. Now, it's just two of us now, which was fine, and I was like, okay, and then he rolls a six, and I'm like, damn it, gods, you haven't even shown off all your Pokemon yet, but that's what happens. So, he's going to unleash the Z-move there, and, you know, there's no way I'm not going to leave this, so... It's pretty cool, though. I really probably should do a per ugly set myself, and I actually am tempted to do one like I did with my, um... Delcati, which is just assist, but do it with a physical one, but maybe not. Anyway, we'll see. So, anyway, I'm down to my last one, which is Cricket Tune, and I need him to hit a fake out and me get a Z-move here so I can at least outspeed and then possibly, you know, put him to sleep and figure something out. But... He gets the assist, and his assist turns into Thunderfang off his Luxray, which is sitting in the back. And Krigatune's going to go down there. So unfortunately, Lucy and I do lose that one, but you don't know what's going to happen in the next one, guys. I, if you're keen, stick around and give a watch to the next battle. So guys, if you did like that, please do... <clears throat> so guys, if you like that, please do... Oh, I don't even know what we're doing. So guys, if you did like that, please do Thunderbolt the like button because it always does help. And leave a comment of any suggestions or that. If you want to get in contact with me, there's different ways in the description, you know. We can have a dice battle, they're really fun, I enjoy them, or a normal battle or whatever you want. I'm, I'm open to try some. Uh, and guys, it's stick around for the next battle. And at the end, you know, let us know what you think of the closing and the openings. But anyway guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.